I'll start with a little movie. It rains harder and more frequently. Rivers must discharge ever-increasing amounts of water, but rivers confined between higher and higher dikes are getting less and less room, while the land behind the dikes gradually subsides. To protect areas against flooding, the rivers will be given more room. In doing so, we ensure the safety of approximately four million people. Work is being carried out at more than 30 locations along our rivers to give water more space. By relocating the dikes inland, the floodplains will become broader. The floodplains can also be excavated, allowing the main river more room to discharge water. The summer bed of the river can also be deepened. High water is obstructed by groins. By lowering groins, water can flow faster. A high water channel is a diked area that branches off from a river to enable a portion of the water to flow via a separate route. If the storm surge barriers are closed during high river discharges, a temporary water storage area is put to use. Together, these measures are the solutions that comprise the Room for the River project steps necessary for our safety and beneficial to the spatial quality of the river landscape. Within room for the river, there is also room for innovation. In the overdeep Sepolder, the dwelling mound, or turp, returns. During high water, the river will flow into the polder and the elevated position of the surrounding farms will ensure protection. An island is added to Nijmegen. By adding an extra channel to the Wild River, a new urban area surrounded by water is created. At the Hans Bruxer Play, a new spillway construction will enable equal water distribution between the Rhine and the Isel rivers. These projects are part of a series of measures taken to guarantee our national safety. Careful and intensive collaboration between national and regional governments, businesses and citizens is therefore of great importance. It is all of this which makes Room for the River a focus of international interest and attention. Room for the River is an example of superior quality and highly innovative water management. It is an area where we have always excelled, and that gives us confidence in a hopeful future. Cultural heritage is a source of inspiration. All the cultural heritage we have now was built once as a new element or a new structure descending from Mars, I would say. So the things we build now, maybe in the future, you talked about it already, is cultural heritage of the future. Um, I only have a few remarks, very blunt, very into your face, but I want to encourage you to participate, to participate tomorrow. Room for the River was born because of this notion. In the halfway, this, the 19th century, there was a lot of room for the river, a lot of flood plains, and now there is little left. Talking about room for rivers. The same you can see on this picture. You can see there was a kind of twining river bed with dikes, and later on we were regulating it because we're not only a country of farmers, but we're also a country of engineers. So regulating it and normalizing it, it's in our genes, I would say. And then the 34 projects were there for Room for the River. And all together, they make our country safer, our middle country safer, our river area safer, and I hope more beautiful. And then it's about scale. And what do I mean by scale? It's about the area you work in. You not only have to deal with the dike or removing the dike or lowering the dike, but it's also about always, I have to say, 
about the area, the bigger area. And we did an invitation out towards local parties to participate and to make a better plan than we did in our basis at the national government. That's really important. That's why the farmers in Overdiepse Polder, which I'm going to talk about tomorrow, made their own plan. It was after our invitation and they really took up the task to make a better plan. And it's also about the collection of 34 projects because then you can, when one project costs, one, when one project costs a little bit more, you can use money from a cheaper project and give it to the other. So you can very good, how do you say, manage altogether the 34. If you had one project, you would ha not have the flexibility as you have now. There was a, pa a paradigm shift from, uh, from room for room for ideas and interests. From narrow-minded and defensive planning, which we have a kind of tradition in here in Holland, surprisingly, towards open-minded and proactive planning. Um, being an engineer country, being a farmer's country, we want security. And that's why maybe you start, or that's why automatically you get narrow-minded and say, oh yeah, we know what, what is best for you. The dike should be higher or removed or whatever we want to do, instead of being open-minded and proactive. Being in this program or collection of projects, it is a kind of balancing between controlling and telling the projects what to do, but also maintaining that open-mindedness and being open to ideas. And that is very much connected to the theme of these days here in Amsterdam at ECOMOS, because I think that the open-mindedness and the inclusive planning includes a kind of sensibility and sensitivity for cultural heritage. And I think um, to work properly on projects on smaller or bigger scale, it is very necessary to define your own cultural heritage, physically and non-physical. By non-physical, I mean that where do you come from? What is your tradition? Here in Holland, we had always the cooperation of the water boards. You were never on your own here. You always had to work together as farmers since centuries to keep the land safe or safer. And that's why I think Room for the River is very much, how do you say, connected to the Dutch society. Saying that you are open-minded and you, have, you are inviting people or groups of people or municipalities to cooperate, you have to be very clear about your framework. What's, what's possible and what's not possible? For instance, we have an end date. In the end of 2015, the water safety has to be ready. As I said before, don't co copy-paste us, but um, look for inspiration. I think we did it all morning, and I hope we continue that attitude. And my last slide is about leadership, because it takes courage to, to, um, to make a difference and to be excellent. Try to be excellent. Thank you.